Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be programming drums with the SSD5 by Slate Digital in Reaper. So let's go. <laughs> The first thing that we're going to do is we have our song here that we have made and we are going to just open any track. The cool thing about Reaper is any track can be a MIDI track, so any track will do. You're going to go ahead and hit the FX here and type in the plugin that we want here. And we're going to add this. We're going to go to create and I will be using the free version today. There is another version that is on sale right now for 99 bucks, and I'll put a link to that in the description down below. Go ahead and check that out, but we, today we're going to be using the free version. Now that we have our plugin open, we're going to pick a kit. I'm going to use the free Hugo today, and what we're going to do to make that load is just double click here, and you'll watch it load up. Now there are some cool features in here that we'll go over. You can go to the map here and rearrange where on the MIDI controller each one of these drums is located if you'd like to, or you can just look to see and put those in manually if you would like. But what we are going to start with is the grooves. And I like to listen to my song and then pick a groove that's close, like almost there. We can do jazz, pop, R&B, and rock. This is kind of more of a rock song. Let's go ahead and take a listen to our song and we're really gonna be listening to the bass because that's gonna kind of be what we want the kick drum to align to. And once we've given that a listen, we'll go through the grooves and we'll pick something out together. So here's the song. So we have kind of an idea of what we want the drums to sound like. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this auto play here and then we can click through and pick out one that we kind of like. So let's listen to a few. I really like that one. So we're gonna shut off the autoplay. We're gonna drag this over here and just drop it. We're gonna close this and we're just gonna drag and move it to the very beginning of this phrase. And we're gonna take a listen to see how it lines up. Okay, so I'm not quite liking where that kick is, so I'm gonna show you how to edit that. We're gonna double click, and this is gonna be our MIDI map right here. And we're gonna find our kick drum, which is this one, which is not that one. <laughs> we're gonna find our kick drum, which is this one. And I want it to sound like do, do, got, do, do, got. So we're gonna go, we're gonna move this over so that it has that. I'm gonna move that. Yeah, that's much better. Close this here. And we're going to hit split S right here and delete these because I just want this drum group that I've made. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna control V to paste. I'm gonna reopen this up because I don't want that symbol hit on every single one. It's gonna scroll up and we're gonna get rid of it by double clicking on the MIDI map and change it to a hi-hat by just drawing. Let's do a close one. All right, let's see how that sounds. Now that we like that one, we're just gonna copy that. We're gonna paste, control V. So we're gonna leave this last bar open because I want to put a fill in there. Let's open the plugin again. And we'll go down and pick a fill that we like down here. So let's just listen to a few of them. Okay, so I like that one. I'll just drag and drop it here. And move this over, see how that sounds. Mm -hmm. 
if we wanted to make any changes to that fill, like added a symbol for it to end with or anything like that, we just open up the MIDI editor and we could make those changes. So now that we have our groove, let's go ahead and show you some of the other features in this awesome free plugin. We can go into the mix and we can mix our entire drum kit like right here within the editor. If we wanted like the snare up a little bit more, the kick up a little bit more, vice versa, we could do that. If we wanted to change the panning, we could do that. So that's a really cool thing about this plugin is that you have the mix right in there. And when you're programming drums, sometimes it gets irritating because you're like, oh, well, I'm going to have to program each drum separate so I have control of the mix. Well, this plugin lets you mix right in there. I can also pan the toms how I want. So if I have something that's supposed to sound more live, I could do it from audience perspective versus drummer's perspective. So that's really cool. You can also control the dynamics, the velocity of the hit, everything like that, the volume that it comes out, if you want them cranked a little bit louder or not. All right, so let's see how that sounds with that little mix there in this little section. I also felt like about in this area that I should be having another fill. So another thing I can do is just move this back and I can split this right here and just copy this one, control V to paste, so that I get that right there. And then change this here to have that first hit be a symbol because we're coming out of a fill. All right, let's see how that sounds. That sounds much better. All right, now that I've programmed these drums and I've got them exactly how I want in the song, I'm gonna show you a few tricks to make them sound more realistic. By the way, these drums already sound really good. This is just giving it a little bit of extra I record them in my studio vibe. So we're gonna open up and I am going to add on a Abbey Road Saturator by Waves. And I'm gonna pick stereo because these are stereo tracks. And I like to put on about the 1.5K here. I will turn down a little bit of the high end and boost a little bit of the low end. And I will bring it down in the mix just a little bit. And we'll listen and see how that sounds. So we're gonna do a little before and after. So here's before. Here's after. And that just gives them just a little bit of life and a little bit of punch in the mix, in my opinion. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a drum bus. So just double click anywhere you like, drag that over, and we are going to move the routing over to our drum bus. That's the easiest way to do it in Reaper. Super, super easy. And we're going to add just a little bit of reverb. We're going to use the Steven Slate verb suite classics and we're just going to add a touch of reverb and turn this down a little bit and that sounds absolutely fantastic and this is what it's going to sound like when it's completely done mixed mastered the whole deal here we go Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. If you have any questions, I'm very responsive. Just drop them in the comments and I will answer you. Anything regarding drum programming, MIDI mapping, or using this plugin. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.